Welcome to our next uh, unit on performance evaluation in machine learning. This unit um, is about a common issue in machine learning, which we want to try to avoid. This issue is called overfitting. So what is overfitting actually? Uh, overfitting means that our model does not learn the underlying data generating process, but instead learns how to optimally fit to the training data. This um, results in a bad generalization error. Look at this example here. On the axis, we have the two um, features, x1 and x2. The colors are um, the predictions, and uh, the shapes of the points are the true classes. In the left plot, we see that the prediction is very much focused on the individual observation. This looks very much like overfitting. The right plot shows a different model. The model on the left plot will show great performance on a training set, but will be terrible if we evaluate it on a, on a test set. The model on the right plot will probably do much better in a test set. So um, overfitting is a pretty well-known problem in machine learning when we talk about um, pretty powerful machine learning algorithms. It happens when the algorithm starts modeling patterns in the data that are not actually true in the real world, but instead they're like noise or artifacts that are um, in the training data. Overfitting happens when you have too many, many hypotheses and not enough data to tell them apart. Overfitting is less of an issue usually when you have bigger data sets. So the more data, the more bad hypotheses are usually eliminated. But if the hypothesis space is not constrained, there may never be enough data to avoid overfitting. So the rule with more, the more data, um, the better, only works if we have a constrained set of models. There's also often a parameter in a machine learning model uh, that allows you to constrain the learner. If you, for example, reduce the number of trees in a forest, this constrains the complexity of the forest. If you reduce the number of polynomial degrees in polynomial regression, you constrain the complexity of the model. And with that, you reduce the chance of overfitting. Of course, if the model is oversimplistic, this is also a problem. This is then called underfitting. In this unit, we will only give a very basic definition and not really talk about measures against overfitting. So regularization is not a topic here. To check if overfitting is an issue in your case, evaluate your model using an independent data set. This graph here visualizes nicely why an independent test data set is needed to detect overfitting. On the y-axis, we have the error. On the x-axis, we have the complexity of the model. This can be, for example, the number of trees and uh, the depth in a forest or the number of features used in a regression models. The two curves show the actual error. Um, so the true error and the apparent error. So the error based on the training data. So for example, um, R squared or MSE are the errors that we compute here. The apparent error goes down with increasing complexity while the actual error goes um, first down and then it goes back up. The reason why it goes up at some point is that the model fits too well to the training data only and does not generalize to new data any longer. It overfits. So what we need to do is find the sweet spot here in the middle um, where the model is complex enough but not too complex. We need to find the point where the generalization error becomes minimal.